Wow, after two months, <laughs> Testament is finally saying that these things are in stock, they're at Amazon or something, and we can release, and we can review these. And I have two, which means uh, I'm giving away at least one, right? <laughs> so let's review the Testman voltage detector, yeah. Wow, okay, I got one out of the box, and it is, it's a voltage detector, all right, but it's the smallest, probably the smallest one I think I've ever seen. Comes with two Duracell batteries, which is a good thing. They go in the back right here with this little screw-on cap. So now, voltage detector, but it's only for AC. So if you're doing car work on DC or something like that, this is not gonna, this is not gonna work for you. But uh, for AC work, it's great. If you wanna check an outlet someplace, you've got a little detector right there. And you'll notice the uh, real weird kind of pin on the front of this thing. It's what they call an NVC type detector and it checks for, you know, AC waves from voltage as low as 12 volts and up. And there's two scales that you can set it for. So you can just turn it on, which is really easy. You just hold the button down for a second. This will flash red and it'll, of course, read out right here with a little LCD screen. So it gives you, uh, it even gives you a percentage of the field of how much voltage you're testing. But if you're scared of electricity, something like this is kind of nice because you never get your hands into the wire. <laughs> you, know, you can just, you know, go out and touch, touch the stuff and see is it on or is it not, you know. So that's pretty cool. It's also a flashlight. So there's a little flashlight in the front here and that's, that's pretty cool too. But it's, it's, it's kind of basic, but real small. And Tesla wanted me to show you this because it's a low price. It's now available. <laughs> yes, it'll, uh, the link below will be Amazon, I believe. And it also, I think we've got, should have a discount code as well with it. So we'll have that posted as well. So the very first thing we're gonna do is grab an extension cord and just check and see if there's power at the other end of it. It just so happens I have this nice heavy duty extension cord from Lowe's <laughs> that I really like. And it's on right now. Well, boy, I didn't even get into it yet. It's already picking up voltage, so it's it's sensitive. But you can uh, this slot will actually go into the little outlet slots. Yeah, you can see that. You know, there's <clears throat> and of course we've got a ground. I don't know if it'll. You know, I can't quite get it into the ground hole, but uh, and it it'll show to you. now. It doesn't hold or anything, so when you pull it back, it's you know the reading is going to be gone. So when you get it in there, that's when you just take it and take a look at it and say, okay, I've got, I'm showing about 38%. Let's try the other one, the other side, just see what that looks like. And that one shows 100% and it shows that it's, it's full AC voltage, you know, coming out from this extension cord. How strange is that? And to shut it off, you just hold the button for just a second or whatever. So it's like, say it's on real easy off real easy. It's a nice easy uh, voltage detector. Good Christmas gift for somebody maybe. Also carry it in your car, your truck, whatever, and have it with you for real quick check on extension cords. I'll say about Christmas lighting and we've gotten into LED Christmas lighting these days. So Christmas lighting, extension cords, that kind of thing would be okay. Uh, the, the lighting itself in some cases, because of the LED bulbs we use these days, would probably be uh, useless because it's DC power again unless that DC power has any a uh, little bit of you know half wave or something in it if it does then this would probably still pick it up uh, I was going to try it on a solar panel today and obviously it's not going to work because solar panels DC power only <laughs> so so we'll we'll have to play with this thing with some other goodies yeah now the other thing I got to mention here is there are two scales that measures 12 volt to 1000 volt or you can scale it up by pushing this other button to uh, 70 volts to 1000 volt. I don't quite get that one. Maybe comment below if you have any ideas of why they did that, but uh, it's all AC. There is, there's no DC function on it. So, you know, I know when you say 12 volt, usually you think DC, but not in this case. Uh, let's try it on some really high AC and just see what it does. All right, so we got our little voltage detector on. There we go, we're ready to detect AC voltage. This just so happens to be uh, stolen from the Smithsonian Institution. Yeah, there you go, the Tesla, the famous Tesla coil. And I turned all the lights off in here, so hopefully you can get a good gander at that. Now, let's see what it does. 
It is bleeping every once in a while. Look at that. It's actually right there and I'm not getting a, a reading. So as sensitive as this thing is, I'm kind of surprised that it's not going off. Yeah, I thought it would be worth a try. Let's try that and see if it gets any more excitement. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, it still goes off, but not it's just infrequent. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, yes. Uh, also a pen clip for your pocket here so you can, you know, put it in your pocket and carry it like a pen. Heck, it's a little bit bigger than a pen, actually. I really was thinking this would be kind of a cool experiment. It looks like a, you know, kind of a bust there, but let's see if I can cross the lines here a little bit. There we go. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to give that one up. <laughs> yeah, I guess we turn this to the Smithsonian Institution, right? So I highly invite you to take a look at the link below at the Tessman uh, voltage detector and have a look and see what, you know, what sale price we got. Birthday gift would be another one, I guess. Or the, you know, any gift for a man that has everything or a woman that has everything else and tools, maybe voltage detector. Went yard sale hopping last weekend and uh, normally I would never even touch this, but I saw this one for like $5. It was like, well, I guess we better pick her up and see what's going on. And the very first thing that uh, the story behind it was that it was passed down to the fellow by his father who was using it. He said it ran too slow and he thought it was really slow and he was really concerned that it was burning up or something was wrong. So uh, he didn't want to keep it around. So, you know, five dollars. Uh, yeah, if you're familiar with these, you'll probably already know the answer to the problem. But if you're not familiar with them, there's a switch. Let's see if I can turn this around a little bit. There's a switch control right here at the front right there that's for high and low speed yeah I'm serious yeah <laughs> but beyond that uh, it seems to work great it is filthy I do need to clean this thing up if I'm gonna have it around here at all uh, scroll saw to me is not a it's just not the hand it's probably one of the last tools I would buy for my wood shop but you know it, they they seem to have their place Comment in below if you think a scroll saw is, uh, you know, has a good place or if you would even buy one because I, I have always steered away from these because I've just, I've just never thought them as being that useful. And right now, I'll tell you the truth, uh, there's laser engravers out there that will cut just like a scroll saw and do a really cool job. So this is kind of like, is this obsolete? I guess that's my question. And uh, for the five bucks, I don't, you know, I don't feel like I did any damage at all. But uh, I will clean her up and we'll uh, hang on to her for now until we decide what we're going to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and let's get on to the next topic. Yeah. Okay, so I put, I put the uh, scroll saw up for the time being. I've got to clean that up and do a little work on that. Maybe look for some blades for it and stuff and just see how it does around the shop. It does a really nice job on the, the cut. looks really good. So interesting tool. Anyways, uh, I want to give some of these away. Uh, to viewers, if you've hung with us this long, you know, maybe you get in on the contest here. We're going to give these away. So how to get in on that? Well, um, one entry per household anywhere, and it will be an email to, you just email me at ctrewards at gmx.com. In the subject line of the email, we'll put Tesman, T-E-S-M-E-N. I'll write that on the screen too, as you can see that. And in the body of the email, just your name and address, like you're doing a postal return, something like that. And we'll draw tickets to see who gets these. Uh, I'm going to give both of them away. Uh, I was an electrical engineer at one time, so I have a lot of meters, uh, Ampro meters. I even have an old, well, it's laying on its face right now there, but I even have an old, an old <laughs> railroad meter <laughs> known as a Simpson. <laughs> classic and uh, we'll, we'll get these out uh, as soon as we can we'll we'll do a draw on these and uh, two people will get these in the mail hey you know cool for watching coffee and tools <laughs> meantime I guess we'll have to call that a, a shoot uh, you'll notice we also uh, we were told by some experts to uh, cut the uh, outro thing from the videos so we're going to try that just see i don't know what the big deal is with that because i kind of always like the outro thing so comment in the section below too about the outro and uh peter down in new zealand if you uh if you put your name in hey you know i'll mail it to you <laughs> okay i'm out of here
over and out. <laughs>